I just want to chime in here. I, I mean, I actually deal with a lot of different YouTubers, and I've seen them actually doing videos on Pulse. I mean, just to play devil's advocate, I've seen people talking about it. Not really. Um, I, I, really. I, I mean, Joe Perry's just named it one of his top coins. He just hit over 100,000 subscribers. Um, I've seen a couple different people talking about it. So it's not like everybody is just against Pulse. I think there's some people that are definitely looking forward to it as well. No, you're right. You know, but, so but, but, I, I think, mean, come on, man. Richard on, they had Richard on every on every show they had Richard two years ago, pre-launch of Hex. And then they shit yeah. on it. So I mean it's I mean they did talk about Hex at this time two years ago. But yeah, no, that I'm, was it. I'm a huge I'm a huge Richard Hart supporter, man. I'm you know, he's he's actually my friend. Like I talk to him on the phone and stuff, and like I think that he's amazing. I think that the way that he, you know, just has built the community and built just such a loyal Wait, wait, following you, of people. Your it, friend it can't even. You talk to him uh, on the phone. Yeah. Can can you like ask him questions for us? Like, sure. About, <laughs> about... No, no, I've known him for a long time, man. Like, so I, I work, I work in blockchain too, and I'm a, I work for another blockchain, but I've just known him for a long time, and I actually did, like, a lot of um, media. Like, I don't know if you guys saw it. Like, it was about a year ago. I did a <clears throat> video that was on the front page of Hex. Um. I, I just did it out of love from just to show support and it um he posted on the front page of the website for a little bit as the kind of pump mentals one with like the rocket ship flying across i don't know if any of you guys seen it but oh, yeah, i think one. you took it down now but um yeah i'm, I'm super you did the music and everything and all that stuff yeah yeah the the um nice. it has like trap music going you can look you find it on the youtube i think but anyways um yeah i'm, I'm a super bullish on uh on pulse i think that with his power and his marketing and his eva the way he evangelizes projects, I think we're all in a really good position. Um, but I, I also don't think that just from my industry people, I know guys that I work with that have invested upwards of 10 million into Pulse because they believe in it. So it's not all everyone just against, you know, Richard. Like there's there's smart money out there that's in it. I'm in that too, you know. Oh, absolutely. So like, you have you have to admit, Lonnie, that as a dev. Mm -hmm. What Richard's doing yep. with Pulse and forking the entire system state of Ethereum. Love it. Should be the talk of the whole damn fucking blockchain. <laughs> it should. Man. Yeah. So let's just be real. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple good guys out there that might say something, but this should be like front page news of fucking blockchain. You know? Yeah, uh, dude. We're I mean, we're we're super we're super bullish on it. And me and all my like my team, we we all sacrificed a good amount and we plan on doing stuff that is going to help the ecosystem thrive and, and do a bunch of different cool things to help out. You know, it's just not a test net out. That's great. You know? So the one thing that, so like it's, it's really good to be bullish, but then we also have to be realistic um, with what's going to, what it's going to take. Right. So like the, the, we, it's also good to analyze like where we're lacking. Right. Cause I, there's such a, this is going to be a community driven blockchain. So what yeah. some of the things that I think that just come to mind are like, we need to catch up a little bit, right? Since there's all these blockchains out that are already kind of onboarding a lot of projects and stuff like that kind of stuff doesn't happen overnight. I'm sure it's going to happen at an accelerated rate for Pulse, but there is a little bit of catching up to do right there. Um, so, I mean, that to me is, is I think, I think it's a time game too, you know, because we don't know how long this bull run is going to last. So if we can catch the part of like at least you know, some of this, like when everything goes nuts, because I firmly believe it's going to go crazy here in a couple months or so. Um, if we can catch that while there's onboarding of a lot of projects and infrastructure being built out at the right time, I think that it can it can push us all the way through the bear market into Pulse being one of the top blockchains. Um, just because I think that I've never seen a community like it um, anywhere. I've never seen so many passionate people. I, I'm one of them, you know. So I think that that's something that we need to be very aware of that we almost have to work double time at, at like, and that's, that's what a lot of my developer homies have said is like, they're already prepping. Like they're, they're already getting everything built out for the stuff they want to build um, because they know that like, Hey, you know, we're kind of on short time here because there's all these other blockchains that have, that have built stuff and they already have stuff thriving. Mm -hmm. um, so we got to kind of get to that level a little bit faster. Question. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Have you seen anyone working on front front end? Um, so one of the biggest barriers is going to be changing the front end so that 
uh, example, go.hex.com mm -hmm. can work with the yeah. pulse chain. So it would yeah. be kind of cool to have a community person or shop that mm -hmm. was specialized in that and could help other projects, um, either paid services or, or something. Um, yeah. So I know that, okay. I, I don't really want to give away too much information, um, but it'll come out really, really soon. I know that there's a, a huge infrastructure play coming and Richard's mentioned it before by one of like the best in the biz that's, that's not connected to hex, but what they do, there's nobody touching them and they're, they're going to build on pulse. And they're really bullish on it. Nice. So I, I don't want to, I don't want to like, cause it's just not my place to say, but um, yeah, yeah. when, when it comes, when everybody sees it, when everybody realizes like that, these guys have been prepping for the past couple months and then they take a look at who they really are, they're going to be like, okay. And that, and to be honest with you, that's nice. one of the reasons I went so heavy. I went so heavy into the sacrifice, you know, Are they in, um, the, top knew, in the top 100 at least there, put it this way. They, they pretty much own, a sector of crypto like they 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 are nobody's even touching them when it comes to what they do <laughs> yes <laughs> so, yeah it's right. uh, yeah likely you guys i love the I, love the the building, uh, I didn't understand it's... huh what'd you say uh i asked what are they building i didn't understand that yeah, see, I feel like it's such a too much information, so man. It, Don't talk. It's not really my. Yeah, it's not yeah, my. It's not talk. my place I'm to in, say. I'm you know? in public right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. I mean, at least we're all. At least it make everyone happy. No, it's too much to wait on your shoulders. He hasn't done anything wrong. Just some good news, man. Just some. Yeah, yeah, it's good news. Creating some FOMO energy. <laughs> well, I mean, everything I say is true, and, and I'll be the first to come in here and post it when it comes out. It should be soon. When you guys are you saying that? Yeah. Are you saying like, that sooner, sooner than lo longer? To, to uh, well, the, the announce the announcement is going to come soon, um, but then obviously we're still in testnet, right? So it's going to take a little net. bit. I'm talking about the, oh, it'll be ready as soon as they go mainnet. It'll be ready. Right. Like they're already prepping. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Kalani, just to touch on one of the points you made with regards to accelerated growth of post chain compared to, not compared to, but just in the field in general, I think one mm -hmm. of the selling points is also the uh, Richard Hartz has, uh, he has a, a higher, let's just say that he has a standard for ethics that yeah. can possibly, cannot be seen in other chains, for example. So I think that is also one of the contributing factors that will add to uh, the accelerated growth. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm full, I'm super bullish, bro. I'm, I'm heavy into the sacrifice as well. So like I'm long-term, you know, I believe that I, I you know, like, look, you, you can only go by what a guy's done. Right. I, I, I look at, I look at results and, you know, most of the, the decisions I make are result driven and I just can't doubt them. You know, I've seen him do it already. And I know that he, I know to him, it's not a money thing. I know that he's doing it because he actually wants to do something. He wants to be great. And, and when there's, when you have be... somebody that wants to be great, you know, like you consider it to like, kind of like a Michael Jordan. They just, they're just crazy. They're, they're obsessed with being great. Right. And I kind of consider him out of all these other people in the space. I consider him that way. And I mean that I'm not just like, yeah. fucking and he loves, and he he loves helping other people change their lives. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. He's changed a lot of people's lives, man. And I, I've got a lot of respect for him, man. Like, you know, like there's so all these fucking guys that are out here talking shit. They don't know anything. They're just, they're just talking shit because they missed out. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, honestly, yeah, yeah. man, that's, that's you know, what it is. <laughs> the, the community, it's a, it's an interesting point because the community is strong. Uh, and that's not you can't take that stuff for granted like i i used to like when i when i was thinking about this so a little while back it came to mind like if you think about now i'm gonna go but go into history real quick so Genghis khan you know yeah when he promoted his generals he promoted his generals based on the work that they put in on the battlefield they he promoted them not because of some blue-blooded uh you know uh, royalty lines that the family lines and stuff like that he just promoted them based on their skill and uh, with time you would have uh, other generals that would want to take Genghis Khan's um, dynasty down and then take over his place. But when they yeah. came to the to the to his generals that he put on from nothing, um, they, they 
would never go along with these things. And this is a very good similarity where like, because he, Richard Hart helped just normal people, you know, it, it, get rid of the, yeah. these financial chains that they're in. This is a very, very important thing. It creates a, a loyalty bond and the people who are yep. supporting him now will not just sell him for something else tomorrow. Well, we're, we're, we're deaf to all the, the nonsense that people spit about him, you know, like, I mean, the thing is, is like, anytime you're doing great things, there's going to be people that, that come in and they, they can't stand that. There, there's two types of people, right? There's the type of people that see somebody doing good or see someone doing amazing and they acknowledge it and they praise it and they, and they want to be a part of that. And then there's the other people that have insecurities because they feel, you know, um, they want to, they, they, they don't know how to take it. So then they have to take the negative approach because it, for some reason their, their lack of, um, security, it makes them feel better to bash on something when really, I mean, you just got to look at the results, man. It just comes yeah. down to the results. Like men lie, women lie, numbers don't. So like, just, 